another day, another Durag. It's your boy DC here with another Durag confession. Today we're going to talk about the fact that the matter is we don't have to do everything you say. Okay, what does that mean? So say that somebody asks you for like a favor or something. Or I don't even say ask you for a favor. Say that somebody is always asking you for a favor or they're always asking to talk to you, right? You try to go on, you talk to them or whatever, right? Who I am. You've done this consecutively. But they've never reciprocated the energy that you gave out to them. Or they did a long time ago, but they figured now that since things are different, that you can switch it up every once in a while a little bit, right? No, because here's the thing. I might have something to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm a busy person. Yeah. That's why I do direct confess, you know. Direct confess keeps me busy amongst my other things when I go to work. When I work, it keeps me busy. But I'm not going to keep sacrificing and cutting out my time. To be with you i'm not gonna keep skipping work to be with you i'm not getting ready to skip out on other functions or events just because you told me to i'm not gonna do that what i am gonna do is i'm gonna consider you i mean like hey you know what's up you know if you openly extend like say somebody called you and openly extend hey if you call me i'll answer the phone cool i'm busy the whole entire day Right? Busy the whole day. I didn't call you, my bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I just said, fuck you. Because I could have just said, no, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't even want to say nothing. But the fact of the matter is, I'm going through my day. Got to do what I got to do. So, you can't expect people to always break their neck for you if they have things to do. People these days expect you to make them the center and focal point of their life. I have my people in my life that's my little group, my little circle, all that. But do you see me or do you see me trying to bother them and get on their line if I know that they're being busy? No. I mean, yeah, I might call them and see what they're doing. If they don't answer the phone, I get concerned. But other than that, do what you got to do. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. If you're busy right now, I understand. I'm not going to catch an attitude. I'm not going to trip off of you. What I am going to do is I'm going to make sure that you're okay. I'm be like, hey, whenever you get a chance or whatnot, you know, holler at me, call me, whatever. I'm not going to catch your attitude. If I need you to go do something, if I ask you to go do something for me and you can't do it, am I going to catch your attitude? No, I'm not going to catch your attitude because you can't do that for me. And that's fine. I might either A, have to figure out a way I'm going to do it myself. B, I can call somebody else. Or C, maybe it's that not that important to where I could just sit my ass right here and chill and wait until I get everything figured out and situated. But things don't work like that no more. Things have to be always done in a timely manner when I need them, when I want them. It's selfish. Cut the selfish BS out. And that goes into what you got to be held accountable for. What are you what are you being held accountable for? You being held accountable for everything that you've done, all your actions, everything. You made a bed that you lying in, you can't get out the bed, and you expect other people to help you get up out that bed. No, you gotta help yourself get out that bed. Because people are going to stop coming into your life if you keep asking them to do things. Now you may ask them and they may say yes, or they might be like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? If you catch an attitude with them, you're in the wrong. Because something something or someone may have come up and be like, hey, I need you to do this. That's more important than that other person. But once again, what do I know? I'm just a dude that wear do-rags. It's do-rag confessions.